I'm Odongo Walter. I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Agriculture and Environment uh, at Gulag University. I'm someone who likes uh, working in challenging environments. I like things which are always changing. So one of the reasons I took a PhD, I needed to challenge myself. The ICAD project was designed to improve uh, part of the livelihood of the community. That was the basis of the research focus for each of the PhDs, actually. So I assessed uh, issues of trust, commitment, power, uh, along the main supply chain to understand how uh, uh, supply chain members, traders, farmers, processors relate and, and how that relationship, uh, good or bad, affects how the farms perform. I find that trust between farmers and middlemen in Uganda is very low. You will see this in the way they behave. For instance, the farmer would have a bag of maize and add there some stones to add the weight because they don't believe that the trader is giving them a fair price. So they increase the weight of their produce so that they at least get some value. So through my interaction with the communities, these are some of the things I'm emphasizing, even the training of the students. Can you make sure the quality of your products are good and demonstrate that it is good? Then you will for sure get a premium price for your product and, and it works. With Equal coming on board, a number of staff participated in different mentorship aspects that was offered through the ICAT project. And uh, the way I look at it, those staff who benefited from those mentorship sessions are really practicing those skills. And it has changed the way they teach, uh, the way they look at themselves in terms of professional development, but also, you know, it has impacted on the students. Before I went for the PhD, I used to have notes, like written notes, read it out to the students and uh, let them uh, make copies for themselves and then go and read. And that has changed like uh, 180 degrees. Now I, I pick up topical issues which are relevant in class and then we make discussion with the students in class. Then afterwards, I, I set them out with assignments to go and read and find out more and then bring back. They share that same experience in class. So I have, uh, I would say, more interactive approaches to lectures, which uh, I believe enable students to, to relate the concepts that uh, I'm, I'm teaching to the realities of life. The PhD training has enabled me to improve the way I train, the way I engage with students, the way I engage with the community uh, in, in the activities that we do, whether we, it involves uh, taking students to the community, working with stakeholders. So I think I'm using a lot of this experience to improve on what we're doing as a faculty. <laughs>